So we're going to do the process of updating um, ETO 1.0 up to 1.20. The first thing we need to do uh, before we do any upgrade to uh, ETO is you have to pop in here and run the game in Era 1 first. It's absolutely crucial that you do that. If you don't and you do an update uh, like this, it's, it's going to mess the game up. Now I've already run my uh, Era 1, so I won't do that now. The other thing we need to do is the ETO Spawn Selector and we need to do that in uh, choice one which is stock spawn mode so I'll run that now and that's done so we can move forward and do the uh, update which uh, I have here and I'm going to run that now and we'll click run and just give this a second to extract So we'll click yes on the prompt and next uh, we'll agree to terms and conditions and we need to change this path to our x86 folder so we'll do that by clicking on the browse button expanding C drive we'll go down to uh, x86 expand Microsoft games and we need to highlight uh, ETO expansion so we'll do that and then click OK so here's the path that we want to uh, do the 1.20 upgrade to and we'll click next and start so it's going to run a remover bat here first and uh, this window pops up it's uh, some credits to the, some of the testers that were here uh, we'll close that and we'll click exit and we'll click next and once again we need to change this path so do your computer expand C drive expand program files x86 expand Microsoft games and click on ETO expansion click OK and next and start so this will take a minute um, I'll touch base when it's complete Okay, so that's complete. We'll uh, click exit. And uh, there's some uh, documentation you can read through uh, at your own convenience. We'll uh, close this down and close this window. And uh, now we're back at desktop, so we can uh, proceed to the next process. Okay, so we've completed the update. Uh, before we run the game for the first time, we need to go in and uh, delete the view UI folder uh, file. Um, we need to do that because uh, if you don't it won't overwrite it properly so we need to delete it completely so it can be recreated and I'll just show you where to do that uh, we'll click on computer disk C uh, one thing you need to have here is uh, folders and search options click on view uh, make sure that show hidden files folders and drives is checked which mine is already and now we'll browse to users uh, my username or whatever your username is. Uh, mine's Jim, so we'll do the app data, roaming, Microsoft, and then CFS3 ETO expansion. And inside there you see the view UI. So we'll just delete that. And we're good. And we should be ready to uh, run the game now. Okay, so I'm going to uh, double click on the start icon. Uh, this is a, a brand new update, so it's uh, crucial that we run it in era 1 first. Uh, if you don't, it stands a good chance of corrupting the uh, era f uh, files here, so we'll run it in era 1 first. Okay, so that looks good, um, and I'll just fire up Era 2 and see how that works.
Okay, so arrow 2 looks good as well. Okay, so I ran both arrows. Uh, the splash screens are popping up correctly and the game's functioning fine. Uh, looks like everything's okay. Um, so that's how you install the update from 1.0 to 1.20 for um, ETO on Windows 7 64-bit operating system. I uh, hope this works for you and have fun. Thanks.